Abba Hai was from the Una Nara family. At 12 years old, she became one of the many concubines of the Lord Nuo Ahasi. At that time, Nuo Ahasi was already 40 years old. He had six concubines and 16 children. Despite a strong competition, Abba Hai was quickly adored by Nuo Ahasi due to her beauty and intellect. In the next year, when the previous primary consort died, Abba Hai was even promoted to the primary consort. That made other concubines very jealous of her. During 1605 to 1614, she totally gave birth to three sons. In 1616, Nuo Ahasi proclaimed himself the emperor of the later Jin dynasty. He did not have a crown prince, instead, he granted three of his sons and a nephew the title Bela or Prince. It was the rank of the Manchu nobility. The eldest prince was Dai Shan, following with Amin, Mengu Tai, and Huang Tai Ji. They were the sons from other concubines. Due to the fact that Abba Hai was favored, one of her sons were also likely to become the crown prince. However, at that time her sons were still young. They were not capable enough to compete with the four princes. In 1620, the emperor received a shocking piece of information from a lady in waiting, saying that Abba Hai was having an affair with the eldest prince Dai Shan. She often visited his room and prepared dishes for him. Many officials also knew about it, they just dared not report it because of their power. The emperor was furious, but due to the fact that he still needed to protect the reputation of the royal family, he decided to cover it. He punished Abba Hai only by accusing her of another matter which was stealing gold and jewels. She was then deposed and banished from the palace. But two or three years later, the emperor still missed Abba Hai. Also, Abba Hai's sons continued to plead for mercy for their mother. The emperor became more sympathetic about Abba Hai, so he called her back to the palace again. In 1626, the emperor was seriously ill after receiving serious injuries in a war. In his last days, he only asked to see his beloved consort Abba Hai. He finally died without making a last will and testament. The emperor did not designate his heir. He only had four princes, as Huang Taiji was the youngest but the most influential prince. He was the most likely to gain everyone's support to succeed the throne. Once the emperor died, Huang Taiji and other princes claimed that, in accordance with the emperor's wishes, Abba Hai had to be buried alive with the emperor as she was his favorite wife. But it was suspected that the order was not came from the emperor, but from Huang Taiji and his brother themselves. Huang Taiji's biological mother was once favored by the emperor for a long time, but after Abba Hai entered the palace, his mother was ignored. This made her depressed and sick. Two years later, she died at only 29 years old. Because of it, Huang Taiji may bear a grudge against Abba Hai. Also, Abba Hai was the high-ranking primary consort and had three sons. Huang Taiji and other princes needed to prevent her from helping her sons to seize the power in future. Now that she would be the biggest obstacle and barrier to them, they would not allow her to be alive. Abba Hai was only 37 years old and her sons were still young. She was reluctant to end her life like that. But even though she begged for a reversal of the decision, all her efforts were in vain. No official stood up to support her neither. Eventually, Abba Hai was forced to commit suicide on the 1st of October 1626, and she was finally buried with the emperor. Huang Taiji had now control over two strongest class banners, the plain and the border yellow banners. He succeeded 
as the second ruler of later Jin Dynasty in the same year. He later changed the dynasty name from Jin to Qing. In 1643, after Huang Taizi died, Emperor Shenji succeeded the throne. As he was still young, Upper High's sons Dorgon served as the regents for him. Now that the political power laid mostly in the hand of Dorgon, he elevated his mother Upper High to Empress Zhang Tianli Shenwu posthumously. However, later after Emperor Shenji took back the power, he revoked Upper High's posthumous title. Tragically, Upper High was a sacrifice under fierce competition for political power, no matter when she was alive or after her death.